Today we've come to the Warlord Games headquarters in Lenton, Nottingham, specifically the shop, to speak to Graham Davey and Andy Hobday, creators of the latest Warlord Games box set, Test of Honour. I began by asking the guys, what does a Test of Honour tabletop look like? How many figures per side and what should or could a Test of Honour force look like? Um, well, generally you're playing with something from 5 to 25 models. Um, some of the the soldiers, the commoners, the Ashgaru might be based on l the little multi bases, so you have th three together. Um, you usually just have one, two, or three samurai, um, which are your the main focus of your force. Um, maybe two or three buildings, um, selection of you know trees, rivers, Japanese elements, things like that. And, and is the force made up of a hero and then his, his companions? As it were? Yes, uh, so you, you build your force around a single hero, and it, so he represents you most of all. Um, he can bring along up to two other samurai, um, obviously those three are the most powerful models on the table. Uh, and then we kind of imagine that for every battle they've recruited some, some Ashigaru or some local pe peasants or some some other soldiers to come and help them with a the fight. And uh, Andy, the games are scenario driven, I believe. It is indeed. Uh, I mean, you, you can play a game where you line your two forces up and you know have a fight to the death. Of course you can. But what we found is it adds more flavor. So uh, within the box itself, there's a, uh, a series of link scenarios and you play your way through each of those uh, to a final conclusion. And depending on how uh, each scenario finishes depends on how you play out the next scenario. Okay, right. And those scenarios are more sort of Hollywood based than historical based? Perhaps. Oh absolutely. Uh, <laughs> but it's, it, you know, it, it, it has uh, roots in, uh, in historical background because obviously you know, that's, it, it needs to and that's where the flavour of the whole game comes from. However, you, know, you want your samurai to be very Kurosawa-esque where he can go from uh, combat to combat and you know defeat lots of commoners however you know if you leave him out there ahead of your main force he's in trouble okay yeah because I, I know you mentioned that, um, that the big buzz for you was really the samurai films and the fact that actually the action in the game could could be condensed into one minute a game takes about an hour but really playing something that's that's perhaps one or two minutes in a film absolutely very quick it's very quick uh, a mechanic that Graham wrote is which is very clever as you, you, you never get tied down in combat, you always bounce off or you, you go away from the combat depending on whatever the outcome is. You know, and if you, if you go into a piece of combat and you, and it's, you, know, you, you do very well, very victoriously, very Kurosawa-esque, you'll bounce off and uh, you may be able to charge into another set of combat. So it can be over very quickly. Now the box set is is a complete box game. You get everything in there. You get cards and other components as well. What what are those cards and other components used for in the game? Right. Well, there's there's quite a few different ones. So all the recruitment of your force is done with cards. So each each model has its own recruitment card uh, with its stats on. So you choose those at the beginning of your game uh, to uh, given points cost, um, and then set those up in front of you as you play. Uh, there's also skill cards, which is uh, how your samurai starts to improve and learn and do more and more spectacular abilities. Um, and you tend to draw one or two skill cards each turn of the game. Um, so you're gradually improving as you play and mm. pulling out uh, new tricks and um, occasionally it's pieces of armour or weapons as well. Um, and then the end of the game you get to choose one of those cards that you've, that you've required during the game uh, to keep for your next battle so gradually over time your your heroes your samurai are, are improving and and gaining them gaining an experience uh, we also have dishonor cards <laughs> so uh, during the game you can choose if you want to act dishonorably which gives you a little advantage an extra dice to roll uh, but um, Later on down the line, your the rest of your force may start to lose faith in you. So, so it's a bit of a two-edged sword. Okay, right. um, 
And what about the future for the game? Are, are Warlord Games going to be supporting it with more figures? Is there going to be more scenarios? Do you have any groups online supporting the game? Yeah, we have a, a, a really uh, active Facebook page, <coughs> excuse me, which is, uh, we, it, we, we opened it as soon as we put the game up for pre-order. We're already on nearly 2,000 members. Uh, there's posts in there every day and there's people joining every day. So if you want to know more about it and get involved in the community, it's Test of Honor on Facebook. Uh, we, we wrote and came up with lots of rules for lots of different things, yeah. didn't we? Uh, which we took out. Uh, because we wanted the game to be very streamlined and very quick to play, but you know, with, with layers. Uh, but we, we kept all of that extra information uh, and we, we're looking to release those as articles. So we can have fighting through buildings, we can have uh, special abilities for different clans, etc., etc., etc. We've been talking about a second wave of releases, uh, and that's uh, being planned at the moment. Yeah. So uh, they will be coming along. Uh, and I, in a few months, I think. Uh, and you know, we, we'll be supporting it with scenarios online, articles online, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know, it's uh, it's it's just a start, really. You know, we're we're ready to to take it places, and we you need those extra scenarios because it adds to the game. And uh, we're getting great support as well from Sarissa, who have made loads and loads of buildings, uh, and they're going to keep bringing out buildings uh, as we go. Okay, guys. Right. Thanks very much. Pleasure. Great.